Why more protein isn't better? Protein is an essential macronutrient that plays a crucial role in various bodily functions, including building and repairing tissues, producing enzymes and hormones, and transporting nutrients and oxygen. While adequate protein intake is vital for maintaining good health, the prevailing notion that more protein is always better is a myth. In fact, excessive protein consumption can lead to a range of adverse health effects. 1. Excess protein can strain the kidneys One of the primary concerns associated with high-protein diets is their potential impact on kidney health. The kidneys are responsible for filtering waste products from the blood, including excess protein. When protein intake exceeds the body's needs, the kidneys have to work harder to remove the excess nitrogen, which can put strain on these organs. Over time, this increased workload can lead to kidney damage and even kidney failure. 2. Increased risk of dehydration High-protein diets often come with reduced fluid intake, as individuals may prioritize consuming protein-rich foods over drinking enough water. This can lead to dehydration, which can have various negative consequences for health, including fatigue, headaches, constipation, and impaired cognitive function. Dehydration can also exacerbate the strain on the kidneys caused by excess protein intake. 3. Can worsen gout symptoms Gout is a painful inflammatory condition caused by the buildup of uric acid crystals in the joints. Protein is converted to uric acid during metabolism, so excess protein intake can lead to high uric acid levels. This can trigger gout attacks or worsen symptoms in individuals who are already prone to this condition. 4. May interfere with calcium absorption Consuming large amounts of protein can deplete calcium levels in the body. This is because protein increases the excretion of calcium in the urine. Over time, this can lead to a reduction in bone density and an increased risk of osteoporosis a condition characterized by weak and brittle bones. 5. Optimal protein intake varies The ideal protein intake differs based on age, activity level, and overall health. For most healthy adults, the recommended daily intake of protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. However, individuals who are highly active or have certain medical conditions may require more protein. It is important to consult a healthcare professional or registered dietitian to determine the appropriate protein intake for specific needs. Conclusion While protein is an essential nutrient, excessive consumption can have detrimental effects on health. It is important to consume protein in moderation, balancing it with other macronutrients to maintain overall well-being. Aiming for the recommended daily intake of protein is sufficient for most healthy individuals. If you are considering increasing your protein intake, it is advisable to consult a healthcare professional or registered dietitian to ensure that it is appropriate for your individual needs and health status. Scientific Proof Kidney Damage a study published in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology found that high-protein diets can increase the risk of kidney damage in healthy individuals. Dehydration A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that individuals on high-protein diets were more likely to experience dehydration than those on moderate-protein diets. Gout a study published in the journal Arthritis Rheumatology found that high-protein diets can increase the risk of gout attacks in individuals with a history of the condition. Calcium Absorption A study published in the Journal of Bone and Mineral Research found that high-protein diets can reduce calcium absorption and increase the risk of osteoporosis. Optimal Protein Intake a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that the optimal protein intake for healthy adults is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight.